One of my first videos on this YouTube channel was a career video on how not to start a cybersecurity career. I was a university freshman at the time, and I felt compelled to give career advice. And and um, looking back, it's kind of comical and and very cringy to look at this advice. But there's one piece of advice that I gave that I think was wrong, and, and here it is. The real way not to develop a career in cybersecurity is have leading motivations of A, you want money, B, it's good job security, and maybe even C, it's a cool word, cybersecurity. You know, you get to say, yeah, I'm a cybersecurity specialist. If any of those three motivations are the only reasons, right, the only reasons you're going to pursue a career in cybersecurity, I would say, you move on. You're not going to like this career at all. Um, now, I don't now, I don't mean to discourage anyone who, uh, you know, wants to make good money and a career is a career. It's what you make of it. Some people, it's a, that's what they do. That's their life. And for some others, that's just a way, a means of making money and making a living. But you need to have at least some type of interest or passion, right? So start out with an interest in cybersecurity. Now, how can you do that, right? So basically, my whole entire premise of this video was an insecurity with people who would tell me that, oh, you're getting into cybersecurity for the money or the job security and I don't know, whatever other things there were. And and I gave this piece of advice that you shouldn't follow it and you should have a passion or some sort of interest in cybersecurity. Now, looking back at this piece of advice, I would say that, um, well, my thinking has evolved. Uh, there's a quote by Scott Galloway, who is a professor at NYU, that goes something like, don't follow your passion, follow your talent. Determine what you are good at and commit to becoming great at it. You know, so what I think that this encapsulates here is that passions come and go through life, but your work ethic and dedication do not. And and these qualities can be transferable in any area of your life, and that, of course, includes cybersecurity. So as somebody who is still inexperienced, uh, I would say that take a look at your work ethic and your dedication towards this industry. Now, this video is just literally random links of career advice and crap like that. But I think that what I've learned recently and maybe throughout the last couple of years in this cybersecurity journey is that having a, a passion in cybersecurity is great. And um, it's something that can keep you moving forward. But at the end of the day, passions, I do think, come and go. So work ethic, dedication, and consistency. I think this is what keeps you moving forward when you're trying to, I guess you could say, get a career in cybersecurity. Uh, even when you don't feel like it, those are some of the qualities that you can control. And I definitely have made this, and my thinking has evolved since this initial video. So moving forward, what I challenge on this small video is to go ahead and try to find opportunities to apply work ethic. For me right now, that is writing down my daily tasks of what I'm going to do for the day. And that includes a component of security or, or whatever that may be. Um, now for you, that could be maybe attempting a small CTF per week or reading 10 pages of your technical book or something per day. It, it could be anything. If a passion develops while you are you know, going throughout your journey of cybersecurity, whether you're in your career or you're a student, uh, that's great. But if not, that's okay. Think about where perhaps cybersecurity uh, in general will take you as a career and what you can accomplish. Um, and, and when you're trying to lay out your goals of life, whether that may be uh, pursuing your passion or maybe getting job security or some sort of good paycheck, that's great. Um, find those goals because they can develop and, and work out. Um, so cybersecurity, is it the right way to achieve those goals? That's up to you. So how not to start a career in cybersecurity? Well, um, don't follow my advice. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This video is short, but um, hopefully this message finds you well. And yeah, until the next video, have a good day.